Okay, hi there, and welcome to Dino's Wall. This is a very, very crucial video. Most of you requested for this. This is the top five mileage bikes currently available in our market for the year 2024. Yes, we all know that the fuel prices are skyrocketing and are actually burning a hole through our pockets and our bank accounts. And it is seriously important for us to consider a mileage bike for our daily chores and for our daily commutes because we don't have the luxury to spend uh, thousands of rupees just for fuel. So without beating around the bush and wasting any more time, let's dive straight into the countdown. Coming in at number 5 is the Honda Levo with a mileage claim of 60 kmpl. Yes, so please note that all these mileage claims are ARAI certified mileage claims. And this can be less or more in real world conditions depending on how you choose to ride. And how you ride is the way the bike will react and deliver uh, good mileage or bad mileage. So if you give sudden throttle inputs and violent throttle inputs, the mileage is going to go down really rapidly. But if you give soft or linear throttle input and very, uh, you know, slow throttle input, uh, then the mileage is going to be better. And also maintain uh, the right rpm don't over rev the bike beyond 7000 rpm maintain it uh, uh, you know you can uh, do the shift sets between 6500 or 7000 rpm and uh, make sure that the engine is not strained like taking it to higher rpms like 9500 or 10000 rpm where the mileage starts dropping and the performance gets better but these are all commuter bikes so better to enjoy the commuter characteristic of this motorcycle rather than trying to rev the hell out of them and trying to uh, enjoy the sportiness uh, which these bikes don't have on offer this comes powered by a 110 cc single cylinder fuel injected engine that puts out a max power of 8.67 bhp and a max torque of 9.3 newton meters and comes made into a four speed gearbox we get 18 inch wheels at both ends which means good high speed stability which means good cruising stability if you find yourself on highways on this commuter uh, but 17 inch wheels are better for uh, city commutes where you want to flick the bike around and maneuver the bike around through chock block city traffic and then you get a 240 mm front disc as well you also have the drum brake uh, variant and this one doesn't get abs but this does get cbs or combi brake system which means even if you engage only the rear brake the front brake is automatically engaged to reduce the overall stopping distance and to offer a better braking mechanism Performing suspension duties are telescopic front forks and also hydraulic twin shock absorbers at the back. Now another thing that uh, the Levo gets is something called ESP Tech. Now ESP doesn't stand for electronic stability program here in the two-wheeler industry. Here ESP is patented by Honda which stands for enhanced smart power. Now what it basically does is that we have a piston cooling jet that reduces friction and maintains optimum engine temperature. The offset cylinder and the rocker roller arm further reduce the frictional loss in the engine, thereby offering better mileage, better performance and better refinement. The seat height is 790mm and ground clearance is 163mm which is more than sufficient. Don't have to worry about scraping the bottom uh, while crossing speed breakers. And uh, tank capacity is 9 litres, could have been at least 10 litres. And uh, Levo gets 3 plus 7 years, a total of 10 year warranty which talks about the kind of reliability and durability uh, that uh, Honda have on offer, I mean the kind of uh, faith they have in their engines is phenomenal. I mean 10 year warranty on their engine is uh, as good as it can get and talks about the bulletproof reliability that comes as standard with every Honda motorcycle. And the price starts from 78,500 X showroom Delhi uh, for the drum brake variant and goes all the way up to 82,500. So this is where the Levo uh, you know uh, is found at number five coming in at number four is Honda CD 110 dream now the mileage offered by this motorcycle is 65 kmpl again ARAI claimed so the CD 110 also gets the same ESP tech it's more or less the same motorcycle as the Levo because it gets the same power same torque uh, the same suspension uh, almost everything is same except for the styling the styling on the Levo is far more attractive more uh, visually appealing more contemporary, more uh, road presence on offer when it comes to styling and uh, uh, the design uh, silhouette overall has uh, very good color schemes on offer. So CD110 is a plain Jane, uh, no nonsense commuter which goes about its commuter job judiciously. So the mileage is 65 kmpl and the price is uh, 73,400. So this is 10k cheaper, 10,000 rupees cheaper than the Levo 
uh, just because it uh, does away with all those uh, fancy uh, uh, visual uh, aesthetics and uh, stays true to its commuter character. So if you want a plain Jane commuter not so particular about the looks, you can go ahead with the uh, CD110 uh, Dream from Honda. Then coming in at number 3 is a force to reckon with. It is the TVS Star City Plus. Yes, the TVS Star City Plus is again a very good looking motorcycle in the commuter segment. It has LED headlamp. I think it's the only uh, a bike to feature a head LED headlamp and it comes with a mileage claim of 66.34 kmpl ARAI certified. So this puts out a max power of 8 bhp and a max torque of 8.7 Newton meters. So it is when the power figure and the torque are matched, it means you get a flat torque curve, which means you get enough pickup enough thrust enough propelling power throughout the rev band and almost in every gear so that is something uh, that is you need to understand and uh, i mean uh, lesser gear changes easier pickup in any gear possible and the star city also gets something called synchro braking system which is similar to combi braking system combined braking system or combi brake system which is like even if you press the rear brake the front brake is automatically engaged and uh, then yeah as i told you it gets the led headlamp uh, which puts lesser load on the battery but at the same time offers consistent light throw and light spread also we get an optional front disc for the star city uh, plus and suspension duties are performed by telescopic folks up front and hydraulic twin shock absorbers at the back here the tires are 17 inches when compared to the 18 inches on the honda bikes so they have 17 inch wheels offer better maneuverability better flickability through chocker block city traffic which is a major plus because mostly these commuters are used for daily commutes tank capacity is also higher for the tvs at 10 liters ground clearance is also better at 172 mm and the price starts from 78770 x showroom and goes all the way up to 81920 so this is something you need to uh, note about the star city plus which is a very good force to reckon with and something that you can consider with uh, a pretty much low maintenance cost because it's a tvs and then coming in at number two is the mileage champ the desh ki dhadkan uh, hero splendor plus x tech which comes with a mileage claim of 73 kmpl yes this is the mileage champ the splendor plus x tech from hero motor corp with a mileage claim of 73 kmpl comes powered by a 97.2 cc engine single cylinder fuel injected engine that puts out 8 bhp of max power and 8.05 newton meters of max torque comes made it of four speed gearbox you get again 18 inch wheels at both ends it comes with uh, heroes patented i3s or uh, you know intelligent start stop system uh, so it stops uh, when you stop at the stop signal uh, or the red signal it uh, cuts off the engine by itself after a few seconds once you shift to neutral and once you press the clutch it starts and you can get going on your way you get a full digital meter here you get bluetooth call and sms alert which is again uh, first in segment i believe also hero uh, now uh, offers the x sense tech which improves uh, overall uh, you know combustion efficiency thereby improving the mileage the pickup and the refinement also suspension wise we have the same telescopic folks up front and hydraulic twin shock absorbers at the back now this comes only in the drum brake variant so you don't get a disc brake variant and the ground clearance is 165 mm which is ample enough tank capacity is again 9.8 liters which is also decent enough and the price is rupees 79,911 so it is borderline it is not too cheap not too expensive uh, it floats somewhere in the middle but offers stupendous mileage even to this day with a price tag of 79,911 x showroom daily now coming to the champ today's champ today's day and age uh, what stands tall as the segment leader at least in my opinion is the bajaj platina abs with a mileage claim of 70 kmpl now you may think that uh, you know by why have you positioned the bajaj platina ahead of the splendor which offers 73 kmpl the reason is abs a life saving feature so there is no other manufacturer who dared to offer abs in the 110 cc category now first of all this offers 115 cc engine which is the most uh, highest capacity offered in this segment secondly it is the only bike to offer abs or anti lock braking system and we had a dedicated media ride just to make people aware about abs the relevance of abs and how abs watches your back while you're riding on slippery surfaces wet surfaces on panic braking scenarios uh, on uh, you know gravel surfaces so we had a dedicated ride for that to spread the awareness about abs 
and its life saving capability hats off to our government who had uh, who has made abs mandatory on all bikes above 150 cc but bajaj has gone one step ahead and offered abs on a 110 cc bike which is i mean almost uh, every other family is going to afford it uh, every other family is going to look for uh, a bajaj platina for mileage sake but they also get is the safety net of abs because uh, say for instance husband wife and a small kid are traveling and uh, in the middle of the night there is uh, rain all over and uh, there is a panic breaking scenario and imagine a family's tragic death just because of lack of abs but abs being there there is every likelihood that the family the entire family might be saved so that is how important abs is and uh, you know bajaj moving ahead and uh, you know making that emphatic statement that they care about the every customer who invest their trust uh, in the brand uh, is going ahead and offering abs so hats off to them and at the same time mileage is not so bad i mean it is second best mileage figure arai claim here in this top 5 list so 70 kmpl is really good and platina trust me there was once i had did a mileage test on uh, honda shine and platina and the platina almost delivered 100 kilometers per liter and uh, yeah because i had driven in a single straight no gear changes one full liter to the very drop uh, ending and uh, that is how we calculated the uh, this thing uh fuel efficiency and it kept going and going and going testing my patience that when is it going to run out of fuel so that is the kind of uh, <coughs> economy platina will surprise you with now 70 kmpl is the standard claim but it can surprise you with better fuel economy if you ride it properly and sensibly without over revving it and uh, without making too many gear changes and without applying clutch too many times okay so that aside uh, so that is the reason now bajaj platina is on top and it also offers a part digital part analog display uh, then it also as i told you comes powered by the po- most powerful 115 cc dtsi engine uh, that offers 8.6 ps of max power and i think is the best torque figure because 9.81 newton meters of torque so this is the torque master here in this segment so it will almost lift off if you pop the clutch so it has good amount of torque on offer and uh, apart from that it is the only bike to offer nitrox gas charged rear shock absorbers in this segment to offer plush ride quality again tank capacity is also class leading 10.5 liter tank capacity and uh, the ground clearance is also class leading at 200 mm so in rural areas just in case you find over find yourself over dirt patches or dirt roads 200 mm of uh, ground clearance watches your back saddle height is slightly taller at 807 mm but you don't feel it once you're on the saddle price starts from 80275 uh, rupees ex showroom 80275 rupees ex showroom is pretty reasonable again it is not over the top expensive and uh, that ends or sums up my top 5 mileage bikes for the year 2024 an honorable mention goes to glamour xtech from hero motocorp glamour xtech 125 which still offers 69.49 kmpl for a 125 cc bike this is again as per ar ai claim and can offer more if you ride it more sensibly so glamour xtech 125 cc bike is a force to reckon with and uh, one of the uh, you know bikes that always comes across as a mileage champion so that's pretty much it thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and right so if you find this video useful please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel because most of them are watching the channel without subscribing so only you can help me get up to 1 million uh, followers so with the word of mouth so please do subscribe and support the solo creator channel see you guys next time until then stay blessed right safe cheers